in today's video, I wanted to share some of my all time favorite autumn capsule staples. So rather than doing a what's new in my wardrobe for the autumn season, I wanted to just take some time to appreciate and celebrate some of the good old trusty favorites that I tend to reach for year after year during the autumn season. It's worth mentioning, of course, that I'm currently eight months pregnant filming this video. So there's a lot of these staples that I'm not wearing right now because of my growing bump, but that I do plan to wear as soon as it's possible for me again. And I have to say, looking back at older outfits photos from this time of year, especially last year, where I really feel like I found my, my personal style, if you will. I feel like last year was such a good year for me style-wise. I can just see that there's so many pieces that I currently have in storage that I just miss wearing so much. I really wish that I could wear these pieces this year as well. A little something to look forward to, hopefully. And in any case, I just hope this video is going to inspire you in your own journey of finding your perfect wardrobe stables. So what are these kind of stables for me? Well, stables are also known as wardrobe basics. So something that you can wear in many different ways, super versatile pieces that you can mix and match, colors that are easy to pair with each other, prints that are easy to pair, um, some of those really hardworking pieces in your wardrobe that you just feel amazing in. And these 12 awesome capsule stables that I'm about to list is all of those things to me. I will make sure to list some similar alternatives to these items down below, but please bear in mind that some of these items might be older or they might be bought secondhand. So I can't guarantee that they're still available. I'll also make sure to note any items that might've been gifted through previous collaborations with brands or something like that something that was part of an advertisement in the past, just so that there's full transparency of everything that I'm showing in this video. Now, the first item that I've got on my list is a roll neck sweater. I am such a jeans and sweater girl. So a roll neck sweater is obviously a great choice because it keeps your neck a little bit more warm, especially as we're heading into the winter season. So I have several roll neck sweaters in my wardrobe, actually. I have one which is like a cream colored, very chunky, uh, roll neck sweater that I've had for, I wanna say 12 years or something like that. Um, I do also have another similar one and this really lovely camel color. And then I have a couple of slightly thinner ones. So I have a dark gray one. I also have one in more of a thin jersey that you can use for layering underneath shirts and blouses, whatever it might be during the autumn and winter season to really keep that neck warm. And yeah, I really love a good roll neck sweater. Next up, we have the more chunky kind of sweaters. Again, I love all types of sweaters, like it, it being cashmere like I'm wearing today or merino or the more chunky wool kinds. Um, but especially that gray chunky sweater that you would have seen me wear time and time again. Um, I've had my variations of a chunky gray sweater in and out of my wardrobe all through, I would wanna say like 10 years. Um, ever since really getting into capsule wardrobes and minimalist style, I feel like a gray sweater has been such a staple for me. Yeah, a really chunky, snuggly sweater is just something I live in this time of year. Um, sometimes I'll even wear a chunky sweater for like a festive occasion. So when we get closer to Christmas, I love pairing it with tailored trousers, nice jewelry, some fancy shoes, and then it kind of functions as a Christmas sweater, but just without being that typical, quote unquote, ugly Christmas sweater, if you will. A chunky sweater just feels so much in alignment with my personal style. My style words are soft, minimal, and cool. And it definitely brings in that softness that I like to add to my outfits, as well as being chunky and textured at the same time, which, adds a bit of a cool touch as well, I think. We're staying with sweaters just for one more product category, which is the thin merino sweater. So this is especially something I like wearing during the autumn and winter season as a substitute for my basic t-shirts. So I've got one in like a soft white color and then I have a light blue uh, thin merino sweater as well. And I love wearing these when it's a little bit more chilly, like I said, as a substitute to a basic short sleeve t-shirt. You can use it as a layering piece exactly like you would with a t-shirt. Um, you can also just wear it as a, a nice base layer underneath a, a sweater, like if you want to stay extra warm. These are just completely basic crew neck 
sweaters and yeah again i just find them super versatile both for wearing on their own but especially also as a layering piece underneath blazers and various kinds of autumn jackets next up we have my good old trusty wool blazer this one is from everlane and i've had it since 2018 such a trusty piece both for every day but also for special occasions when i want, want to dress up a little bit more and obviously it being wool also means that it's a little bit more warm so if you're wearing it underneath a coat or something similar it will give you that extra added warmth and this is a piece i'll wear also as like a light jacket especially when we're transitioning from summer to autumn you can almost use it as a lighter jacket i love that period uh, when you can wear your blazers as actual outerwear and really play around with different layered looks. I feel like nothing says autumn like texture. So that being chunky knitwear, suede, corduroy, anything really textured to add depth to your outfits is something that, I don't know, it just feels so autumnal. So that's why this next piece uh, on the list is a suede or leather jacket. I have both in my wardrobe, my leather jacket. I've had that for years. It's this really cool classic black biker jacket. It's actually a little bit heavier than the stereotypical biker jackets. It's a little bit more, uh, it has a bit of a padded lining inside it, so it's actually really warm. So that's a more classic option. I did also find a super cool chocolate brown suede jacket in a local thrift store at the start of this year. Haven't worn it that much because again, I have been struggling a little bit with putting outfits together, being pregnant this year, but I just know it's something that I'm going to be reaching for next year when things are a little bit more back to normality. It's super trendy right now, but I feel like it's still a very classic piece. And actually I've been looking for something like this for quite some time, um, especially again, something in a slightly softer color alternative to the classic black, which I still love. Uh, and also something with a slightly different texture. Again, I love suede for this time of year and I just think this jacket is so cool. Such a steal too, like it was such a bargain. Um, I think I paid like 50 crowns for it, which is about 10 bucks. So yeah, such a steal and I love it. I can't wait to wear and style that more, especially next year. So we're sticking with jackets just a little while longer. Next item is a plaid jacket or plaid jacket. I don't, never really sure how to pronounce it, plaid or plaid. So this is a jacket that I bought on Vinted. So pre-loved, uh, I think it was last year in this really lovely dusty blue kind of check. I feel like plaid jackets, again, is one of those items that you can rewear year after year. Basically, no matter what kind of color option you go for, it, either that being a solid color, especially one of those like typical autumnal colors, or a pattern like a check is also something I find quite autumnal. I went for blue because blue is one of my absolute favorite colors. Um, I do think it suits me very well, if I do say so myself. Uh, goes really well with my blue eyes. And I love styling blue with gray, chocolate brown, beige, um, all of those other kinds of basic colors that I tend to wear. So we're on to the seventh piece on the list here. Um, and that is of course a classic wool coat. Um, I have a couple of different ones in my own wardrobe that I like wearing. I recently sold the navy blue one that I have because I would like to, in time, possibly switch that to either a checked coat or um, just a plain chocolate brown. Again, I love chocolate brown and it's something that goes really well with the, the remaining color palette that I have in my wardrobe. I've really laid out some alternatives to black that I would much rather be investing in. So that could be chocolate brown, charcoal, navy, burgundy even. Uh, any of those like slightly deeper colors, but just not as deep as black. The two that I have here on my list is of course the jade green one that I wore all the time last year. I've worn it a little bit this year as well. Um, just such a lovely slouchy coat and the color is so beautiful. It works surprisingly well with everything I have in my wardrobe. And then of course I have my camel coat, which I've had for around eight years now as well, which is just such a classic staple. Again, if you had to choose one out of these two, I would probably go for the camel coat because it's a little bit more safe. But again, the accent colored coat is such a nice addition and I've wear been wearing it so much. Obviously a classic wool coat is nice because it keeps you warm, especially if you go for a more pure blend of wool or like a high blend of wool in the coat. So I tend to go for the classic wool coat if I wanna add that sharp streamlined 
polished element to my looks, especially if I'm wearing something super casual underneath. Next up, we have tailored wool trousers. Again, this has been such a staple for me since Probably around 2017, I have a black pair of white leg wool trousers from Arkit that I've had for around eight years and I love them. I wear them all through the year, but especially during autumn and winter, because of them being wool, they will keep me a little bit extra warm. To everything from, you know, work, working from home because they're quite you know comfortable you can use them as a substitute to like loungewear if you will especially if you find a really good fitting comfortable pair of trousers but you can also wear them for special occasions so they're just really versatile and you can wear them for many different occasions and i would say even a dark gray pair would work equally as well as a classic black pair uh again if you wanted to explore other colors than just your classic black something that is just as classic and versatile. Next up, we have dark wash denims. So whether it being dark gray, black, or even dark blue, I feel like the darker wash of denims this time of year is such a nice way to incorporate autumn and winter into your outfits. I love light blue jeans and I have loved light blue jeans for years, um, but I have found that over the past couple of years, I tend to keep those more for the spring summertime because they add that lightness to your outfits, which goes really well with spring summertime. Whereas the darker wash denims are really nice for the darker seasons. I do also find that sometimes the darker wash denims look a little bit more smart and a little bit more put, put together. So if you like jeans, but you know, it's really important for you to look streamlined and polished and put together, I would definitely opt for the darker colors like a dark blue or dark gray, because again, it just makes your outfits feel a little bit more streamlined and polished, especially if you like wearing jeans for going out. Again, I'm not afraid of wearing light blue denims for going out, but it just feels a little bit more casual, whereas the darker ones feels a little bit more smart. So sticking with pants, item number 10 is leather pants. So to me, really, this could be leather, it could be suede, it could be corduroy, anything with a little bit of structure and texture, like I mentioned earlier, to add some depth and interest and definition to your outfits is such a nice thing to do, especially during the autumn season. And it will also provide you with extra warmth, which is always a bonus. Um, I do have a pair of leather pants in my own wardrobe. I've been experimenting a little bit with leather pants over the past couple of years. And because I buy most of my clothes secondhand and a lot of it online, which is not always the best approach because it is a little bit tricky sometimes to make sure that the fit will be right. This is definitely one of those areas where I've struggled a little bit finding the perfect pair. I've had a few different fits in and out of my wardrobe throughout the past couple of years. Again, I bought all of them secondhand and then I passed them on, sold them secondhand again if they didn't work for me. Um, but that's why you'll see a bit of variation in the fit of these uh, different outfits that I'm showing in this video. So the most recent pair that I found, which is also the pair that I have stuck with and that I love, the fit is perfect. They are from a Goldie, if I remember correctly. They're in storage right now because obviously, again, being eight months pregnant, there's no way I'm gonna squeeze into those right now. <laughs> Hoping that I'll be able to squeeze into all of these next year, but you never know. I'm not putting any pressure on myself, but I'm, I'm hoping, you know? But these are really lovely because again, like I said, the fit is really nice. They're more of a full length, so they also keep my legs warm. They add a bit more length to my legs as well, being more of a full length. And then the color is actually dark gray rather than being pitch black, which I, again, really appreciate. I think it goes really well with the other soft colors that I have in my wardrobe. And they really play on that key style keyword cool that I have in my style. And I can wear them with anything from, you know, sweatshirts to t-shirt and blazers, chunky sweaters, sneakers, boots. I can even wear them with, you know, a silk blouse if I want to add a bit of a cool touch to any outfit when I'm going out. And yeah, I've always loved a good pair of leather pants, but I've just never managed to find the perfect fitting pair. And I think we're on to a winner here. Moving on to the 11th autumn wardrobe staple. This is more of an all year staple to me, if you will. And it's of course a pair of plain white sneakers. Now I did replace my Veja Espla sneakers earlier this year because they were just so worn out with a pair of Veja Campo sneakers. So there's a little bit of a difference between these two styles. Espla is a little bit more sleek and they have a slightly thinner sole, whereas the Campo is still, they're still sleek, but they have a bit more of a chunky 
raised sole on them, which I actually really like um, because you get a bit more height with those, but they're still very sleek. So I'm not much of a sneaker person. Over the years I have become, especially since being a toddler mom and you know, just, I don't know, looking out for my feet and my posture a little bit more, I guess. But the slightly more sleek pair or the slightly more sleek alternative, like my Campo sneakers from Vea, are just, they're just a little bit more versatile. They go with anything and you can wear them with any type of bottoms, even with dresses and skirts during summer. And then just being completely white, completely plain, again, makes them so versatile. Number 12, the final autumn capsule staple on my list is of course a pair of ankle boots. Now I've actually written black ankle boots here, but I feel like it could be anything. It could be chocolate brown um, or any other color that you might like. I feel like a pair of ankle, good ankle boots, such a great staple, not just for autumn, like sometimes you can even wear them during spring and summer as well. But yeah, just a great all year basic staple. I have a pair from Aid that I actually put up for sale on my Vinted account recently because they are quite high, but I've actually removed them again because I feel like right now at this stage where the, the stage I'm at right now again being pregnant, this is not the time to make any major like style or wardrobe edits because it could just be my mind playing tricks on me, not being able to wear them right now. I want to give them a chance. Like I want to keep them because they're so, so beautiful. And I bought them with the intention of loving them and wearing them for many years. And I wanted a slightly more dressy alternative to my Acne Jensen boots, which I still have and still love. And I do definitely see myself wearing those a lot more, especially when I'm looking back at old footage, like old outfits I've worn them with. It's like, you know what? No, I'm gonna keep them in my wardrobe and I'm gonna give them a proper chance to, to stay in my wardrobe and not make any rash, rash decisions right now because it's all based on my current body and my current situation, but it will change over time, you know? So again, ankle boots, such a great staple, a really nice way to elevate your autumn outfits. Um, and also to keep your ankles and feet warm, of course. So there you have it guys, my list of 12 autumn capsule stables that you can wear and re-wear year after year. In any case, if you have a style similar to mine, it's worth mentioning that, of course, wardrobe stables can look completely different for all of us. You might have a slightly more sensible or romantic style than I do. So maybe you want to find your own version within these categories. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, just a good old celebration of some of my trusty wardrobe staples. And I hope it also takes off some of the pressure of having to buy something new just because the seasons change. If you're anything like me and you do enjoy investing in pieces that can live for as long as possible in your wardrobe, then I really hope you found this inspiring. Let me know if there's something that you love re-wearing this time of year down below. I would love to hear what you guys consider wardrobe staples. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like, maybe share it with a friend. Uh, make sure that you subscribe as well and stick around for more slow fashion content. I would love to have you here. With that, thank you again so much. And I hope to see you very soon with another video. Bye guys.